Okay, so Bitcoin yesterday got a heavy rejection towards the downside directly into our support area. But in this video, we are going to be talking about a brand new pattern that is right now developing on the Bitcoin chart. And on top of that, we need to take a very close look at the dollar currency index, which is currently bouncing exactly at a very important support area. But first of all, what you're going to see. It really looks like that Bitcoin yesterday was breaking through its previous high at 17,300 US dollars area. But why did we get a rejection towards downside? It really looks like we got some absorption happening exactly at our level of resistance. Now, let me go on the 15 minute time frame where we are going to see yesterday exactly the high bitcoin started forming a slightly lower high right here but it looks like that on the cvd indicator we were pretty much forming the exact high so what does it mean we are still seeing buying pressure coming into the market open interest going higher and higher brand new long positions opening at this area but it looks like that people that were longing right here were simply not able to push the price higher bigger player was absorbing the buying pressure bearish divergence was formed on the cvd indicator bearish indication and only then because of that we got a push towards downside directly towards our very important support level of approximately 3.3 percent now what you're going to see if we do go right now with our very important volume indicator on the one hour time frame it really looks like that yes we got a push towards the upside with a very slight volume increase right here however a push towards downside definitely happened on higher volume and we can right now say volume got increased on a push towards downside after that bitcoin definitely hit our support area right here and right now we are also seeing some kind of a retest of another daily high term time frame level of resistance right here that was actually confirmed confirmed yesterday but what you're right now going to see on the 30 minute time frame on the cvd indicator it really looks like that for the past couple of hours our cvd indicator has actually been going lower and lower and lower but the bitcoin price is at the moment actually forming some kind of a higher low right here so what does it mean it looks like that people are shorting literally exactly at this specific support area right here but the bitcoin price is simply not really following and not really seeing a push towards downside so what does it mean bigger player absorbing the selling pressure coming right now in the market and that is right now the reason why we are forming a bullish divergence at the moment at approximately 17,000 us dollars area and because right now we are forming this bullish divergence in my opinion we could potentially be looking for at least some kind of a rotation some kind of a push towards the upside on the bitcoin price and let me right now zoom out a little bit because i would like to show you a pattern that could be formed if bitcoin actually does see a push towards the upside right here we can actually identify some kind of a left shoulder right here that was actually formed on 1st of december right here yesterday with a push towards the upside it could actually be the hat right here and if bitcoin right now does see a push towards the upside because of our bullish divergence that is right now being formed it could simply be right shoulder being formed and bitcoin could be putting and forming some kind of a head and shoulders pattern but remember right here even if our head and shoulders pattern is going to be formed and bitcoin does see right now a push towards the upside i am definitely not looking to fire a brand new short position on the break of our head and shoulders pattern at approximately 16,800 us dollars area because this level right here is definitely going to be our support level and we are going to be talking about this support level in a moment but if we right now say that bitcoin can see a push towards the upside what is a very important level of resistance we should definitely be aware of now first thing we can actually do measuring the entire upper price action with our volume you are going to see that our value area high volume level of resistance for bitcoin is going to come up at approximately 17,100 us dollars but in my opinion most importantly we need to be aware of a brand new fair value gap or the imbalance that was formed yesterday why was an imbalance formed because bitcoin yesterday got a very fast and quick push towards downside and because of that right now we do have some imbalances that the approximately 17,150 US dollars but if we go right now on the four hour time frame you're going to see the entire red candle right here is going to be an imbalance so before we actually talk about this level of resistance bro if you haven't already right now please smash up the like button because the goal for this video is not to reach 400 but actually 
573 likes and thank you very much if you're right now actually smashed the like button so you can right now see that bitcoin is forming this bullish divergence right here and if we right now say if we are going to be able to see push towards the upside because of this absorption happening right on the charts we should be aware of the level of resistance at approximately 17,100 to approximately 17,200 us dollars on the bitcoin price now another thing that we can actually do right here Fibonacci retracement. We are going to go from our swing high right here back to our swing low, applying our golden Fibonacci ratio on our chart. Now, it definitely looks like that our golden Fibonacci ratio is definitely at the high of this specific imbalance. But if, for example, you go on the four hour time frame, you're going to see that our golden Fibonacci ratio is going to be literally at the 50% of the imbalance on the four hour time frame. So I would say like that. If Bitcoin right now does start moving towards the upside, we are definitely aware of the first level of resistance which is going to be our value area high at 17,120 US dollars but preferably I would also like to see a wick towards the upside at least to our golden Fibonacci ratio where we also do have the 50% of our fair value gap on the four hour time frame and potentially then as mentioned we could be start forming some kind of a head and shoulders pattern on the Bitcoin chart but here mate please pay very close attention if we right now do see a push towards the upside people are going to be aware that this could actually be some kind of a head and shoulders pattern and if then we do see a rejection towards downside guess what people are going to be bearish at this specific support area which in my opinion it's a very important level where definitely we are not interested in going with any short or sell positions on the bitcoin chart now why is this level such an important level first of all what you're going to see because yesterday was monday we got brand new weekly pivot points and you can actually see our brand new weekly pivot for bitcoin is actually going to be exactly at our previous lows 16,800 us dollars on the bitcoin chart so you can clearly see we do have our previous lows right here for liquidity purposes we also do have right now our weekly pivot exactly right here so it really does not make sense for us to be looking for short positions at the low right here if i would go with a short position I would actually go with a short position approximately at our golden Fibonacci ratio or I would also say approximately at the value area high $17,130 if there is actually going to be some kind of a rejection towards downside on the Bitcoin price. Why am I saying that there could be a potential rejection towards downside on the Bitcoin price? Simply because also the dollar currency index is right now seeing a very nice bounce to the exact dollar accuracy from our weekly high term time frame level of support. And before for right now we do talk about the dollar currency index and also the stock market bro if you would like to trade bitcoin and ethereum with us insane free bonuses are right now offered to you on bitcoin exchange more than four thousand us dollars for free trading bonus they also introduced proof of reserves where you are going to see they are holding more than 700 percent in bitcoin 200 percent in usdt and almost 200 percent in ethereum reserve ratio and because of that click the link down below in the description you do not need vpn they also do offer copy trading fill in the form right here click on sign up and make sure you do secure an insane free bonus that is right now offered to you now looking right now at the stock market it really looks like also s p 500 and the nasdaq chart both of them got a push towards the downside below our previous highs right here and also we lost our previous low right here so what can we right now say it looks like that the five wave structure on the stock market could right now be finished but let me right now share with you a very important level that needs to be broken towards the downside if we would actually like to be slightly more bearish also on the s p 500 connecting our higher lows with a very nice diagonal level of support what is that going to mean if for example our s p 500 chart is going to break through a diagonal level of support towards downside in my opinion it is definitely going to be bearish indication not only for the stock market but of course also for the bitcoin price and on top of that if for example our diagonal level right here is going to see a break towards downside we could be paying attention to our previous thoughts right here which is going to mean if right now we also start going below our previous lows our market structure on the stock market is also going to be changed because we have been forming higher highs and also higher lows if we do see push towards downside market structure for the first time since i would say approximately 3500 points right here is going to be broken and we are going to start forming bearish market structure which is of course going to be bearish indication for the stock market and of course also for the bitcoin price but as mentioned right now we are potentially right now paying attention 
attention to some kind of a push towards the upside that could be formed on Bitcoin because of an insane bullish divergence forming on the CVD indicator. Now, our very simple invalidation level where potentially we are going to be wrong on our idea if Bitcoin is actually going to move higher is simply going to be above our previous high. So that being said, if, for example, Bitcoin right now does actually see a push towards the upside, I am more interested to potentially fire a short or a sell position with an invalidation level simply above our previous high. Why so? Because if, for example, we start right now moving towards the upside above our previous high right here, in my opinion, we should be aware of the next price target, which is simply going to be not our previous high right here, but actually the daily high term time frame level at 17,555 US dollars. And once again, we are going to be trading the reaction at the Golden Fibonacci ratio and also at our value area high. If there is going to be an insane green candle towards the upside, I am not looking to fire a brand new short or a sell position on Bitcoin because we need to see some kind of a sign of weakness or I would also say weak push towards the upside with very, very low volume coming in the market. Now, another bearish indication is actually happening on the money flow indicator on the daily time frame on the Bitcoin price. It really looks like insane hidden bearish divergence happening on the money flow. Higher highs are being formed right here, massively lower highs on the Bitcoin chart. So it really looks like massive hidden bearish divergence on the daily time frame on the money flow indicator right here. Of course, it is going to be bearish Bitcoin indication. So right now, what are my primary trading ideas that I am potentially going to be executing on the Bitcoin price? Of course, once again, I am preferably right now looking for some kind of a short position, maybe at the value area high after we are going to take out our previous highs right here, preferably as mentioned at our Golden Fibonacci ratio, 17,200 US dollars with an invalidation level above our previous high for us to actually see some kind of a head and shoulders pattern formed on the one hourly and also on the two hourly time frame. Now, our first take profit area, in my opinion, should definitely be our weekly brand new weekly pivot point at approximately 16,800 US dollars because it is actually going to be exactly at our value area low and also exactly below our previous lows right here, where we do actually have liquidity. If Bitcoin does see a push towards downside with the reaction exactly at our previous lows right here, I would potentially be also looking to flip into a long position on Bitcoin, simply because a lot of people can get bearish because of a potential head and shoulders pattern that might be forming in the upcoming hours. And if there is going to be a reaction right here, we are not looking for shorts right here, only a potential long, because it could be a potential swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab. But once again, it needs to be some kind of a reaction towards the upside. And on top of that, please mate, pay attention to the stock market because if we start losing our diagonal level of support towards downside, also on the stock market could actually be bearish indication for the Bitcoin price. However, if there is a swing failure pattern, we still should not hesitate and potentially fire a brand new long or a buying position right here on the Bitcoin price if there is going to be a nice reaction at the area of 16,800 US dollars right here. But if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button. If you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, insane free bonuses and they also do offer for right now proof of reserves on BitGet right now. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.